somehow back for a third week. So I haven't uh, been, been cancelled yet. To some people's dismay, yeah, but just, that's okay. Just about how long. Um, so yeah, welcome back, where we're going to round up everything that happened last week. Um, in our round against uh, Midland. Uh, joined here by my normal two co-hosts, Benoit. Thanks mate, good to be here. Yeah, yeah and, uh, and Jordan. Thank you, yeah, nice to be here again. Brilliant, fantastic. Um, so yeah, same, <laughs> it's the same every week, we just recycle the same stuff. We'll go through the results from, uh, from last week, a little bit of an intro to next week and a few little features as well. So It's not just the same stuff, no, it's, well, there's it's, a few gags in between. Yeah, How have you always been over the last week? Since Are you going to do the same gag though? <laughs> um, a bit sore after after Saturday. It was a bit, we'll get into that in the twos review though. Oh, yes, okay. yes I've got a little point. I wasn't sure. <laughs> and how are you, Jordan? <laughs> so I'll put it on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good, Chris. Yeah, um, brilliant. Yeah, it's been a standard Saturday, really. It was yep. another win. Talk them up. Two to five, 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 five. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, we'll uh, obviously go through the last round's results uh, where Port took on Midland. Um, so starting the A grade, um, so the A grade playing uh, Midland obviously here at Stevens. Uh, boys back first, finished 9 for 208. Uh, scores from Jake Carlo, 48, uh, Dan Kennedy, 53, and Dallow, 51. Uh, yeah, so also maybe a sort of slightly below par 9 for, for 208. Spin really sort of uh, took hold of the game. Um, Tom Bean took 4 for, four for not many, bowled, bowled quite well. Uh, in reply, Fortune Port were never quiet in the game, uh, going down by 6 wickets. Um, Jake picked up 2 for, but uh, sadly wasn't quite to be for the boys. Um, an unfortunate defeat, but um, still sat 4th in the ladder, so still in the one day final spot. Um, and yeah, <coughs> Last few years, haven't we? Yeah, we had a pretty great one, one, one day comp, so mm. it's always a good day out of the Waka, have some good fun there. Mm. Not last year. Where were we last year? No, uh, Fletcher. Was that? Yeah. yeah. We got absolutely. Oh, that's right, we did. It was a short, yeah. short day, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't think you can say we there, that was when you're south. Oh, yeah. Place. I believe, I believe, actually, I've been sacked by then, so. <laughs> <laughs> on technicality. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Um, so yeah, well, uh, unfortunately the one's just falling out a little bit short the weekend. Oh, round in the twos. Uh, thankfully we got to play it away again, and this time all the way up in Lilac Hill. So but it's one, as a batsman though, it's an absolute belter, isn't it? And it's good playing them in, up there in October rather than in February, mm. because that's just chaos, we felt. And it was <laughs> hot. Hot tub was on too, so there was a lot of party buses going past. A lot of party buses. Making us wanted to be there even less, so that was always good, but into the cricket now, I suppose. Um, two unfair teams before, before the weekend. Um, Maury won the toss and batted. Um, the opener, myself, uh, tried to hit one straight up. Second over of the day. I wonder your review say longer than anyone else's. Which wasn't smart, but you got to get that in cricket. Saw it and just, yeah. Anyway. He actually came up uh, and said, that ball should have gone into the ocean, and he was hitting <laughs> east. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? What yeah, that mean? four and a half thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah. Just what? get over it. Did the ball hit that? Right? Um, Foxy batted well 31 off only about 25 balls. Um, he had pace but the star of the show was Jeff uh, Gonanen. I think I've said that right, that's good. Um, getting 65, a couple of good bombs there, batted well throughout the middle with yourself, Benoit. Yeah. It's good yeah. to get back in form, is it? A bit toil. Yeah, no, so, it's good. Yeah. 35 off 82 balls. Strike rate of 42.68. What happened? <laughs> it's one of the flattest decks in the world up there. It's tough to score off spin there, it's mate. <laughs> I'm a but fourth grader in disguise <laughs> in second grade cricket. I've never faced spin in five years. <laughs> well, I thought you made it okay. I'm amazed I lasted that long. Give me all right. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But then we finished off the innings really well. Robbie making 20 off 15. And Desi hitting 15 off 12 at the end too. So I've done all the heavy Sorry. lifting for the boys to come <laughs> in at the end and just have a bit of fun. Oh, uh, Midlands innings, eh? Zuri on my um, report. Unlike the, un unlike the <laughs> Fremantle openers who tried to get on with it in the second over, the Midland openers were well, none for six off 
none for nine off six it was, chasing 2.30, so you always had a bit of strife. They were staring down the barrel. Desi had them bowled very well to start with. Um, and they were bowled down, and then Hoey came on. We put two men out of deep, and they shoot straight to them. And about four or five of their blokes did the same thing. Took out catches um, all day. We did, <laughs> did. Did you take a catch by Mark? No, no, I was just saying as a team, we were oh, pretty well. Okay. How did you go personally? Just drop one, but. It was not Robbie, was that? No. Oh. Thank God. He was talking to you. You did trip over your own feet. <laughs> I stepped on my foot as I tried to catch it. Of course, but, um, of course you did. Their captain Davies, though, batted well for 56 off 54, but it was, he was a lone ranger in the cause, and they ended up getting bowled out for 154. So with the wickets spread evenly and yeah. no real. Uh, no pedestrian with the ball, really, so everyone got it there a bit. We said we could spread evenly. Or three to Dez, three to Maury, two to Robbie. So that's pretty sweet. Well, that's two votes over three, three for that's, that's, that's pretty cool. even, though. Right? Yeah. It's three, three, two. Yeah. What's that? Um, yeah. And so, yeah, that puts us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that puts us um, equal top of the ladder with Basie and Melville, I think. Mm. Yeah, I didn't expect Melville to be there. Yeah, I Basie and Moyes, show me the twos. Good luck so. Derby, mm -hmm. when the time comes, hopefully. Yeah. Don't know when that is, sorry, but we'll get that to that later, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure. Future we weeks. So, yeah, it's, that's, that's the two so far. We done? Yep, cool. Hopefully we've got enough <coughs> memory left on the camera to carry on for the rest of this, but no, threes? Threes, um, pretty... <laughs> carry on. <laughs> um, pretty poor day, it was the Caleb Smith show pretty much with the bat, 77 off 92. So um, young kid doing very well in his first, uh, well he played a bit of fourth grade last year, but um, didn't, didn't quite have any luck with the stick, but um, now he's doing very well this year. Uh, got to 186, um, which in third grade, lower grades, that's your half a chance there on that Stephen Z wicket though, mm, might need a couple more. Um, and that proved to be the truth. Uh, so Midland Guildford um, got it three down in the 40th over with their opener finishing 80 not out. Um, I've just got opener written here, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so apologies, <laughs> apologies to the, uh, the great opener there. Um, so that has them sitting 10th on the ladder with uh, just the one win. Uh, yeah, one, win one, so one the first game. Yeah, one first so one, one. Yeah, big, uh, big last over. That's right. Yeah, how could I forget? Yeah, yeah. three rounds. Well, they didn't play round one. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, and the fours uh, were up at uh, Midland as well. Um, again, slightly coming second on the, on the day. Bought out for 159. Uh, contributions from Mel and Neil King with 40. Uh, and a big weekend for Mel, which we yeah. might have a little chat about later on. Uh, and he went down as well with 35. Uh, and he had a score there. Uh, and in reply, uh, Midland never really looked trouble for for 160, so again, six wicket win for, for Midland Fours. Uh, Cameron Green, I suppose, a big the bowlers, one for, one for 19 off his overs, so... Did see Gus hit a big bomb though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Straight, I saw him bowling tonight, absolutely terrorised. Was he ball. fielding at first again or not? Didn't see any of their fielding, no, because we, of course, were fielding at the same time. Played in that game, probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say we called them out, I thought we would have got a bit, but I don't remember seeing them. They were already scored the runs, but <laughs> unfortunately. Actually, I don't remember watching them. Yeah. But the fours, yeah, still looking for their first win of the season, but uh, I'm sure it'll come. It's a uh, young side, but putting in some, some decent performances individually, so it'll come. It was 159, 159 will win you a few fours. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It'll come. It'll come. Yeah, bowling, bowling Especially in two-day period. I'd say bowling's their strength as well. Now, whilst we're on the topic of fourth grade cricket, of course this comes to our ever popular tipping yeah. competition. Now, the results from last week, for those of you that are really keen and uh, excited to find out, we have to congratulate Benoit for a fantastic win. Thanks, guys. With seven out of the eight uh, games yeah. scored correctly. I just know my fours. Has no fours in. Me and Jordan tied on six, and uh, Chari, unfortunately, with four three. or three. three. I think three. three. I mean, literally, you just pick. You get toss a corner, you get better scores than that. <laughs> um, so well, I don't know what Chad was doing, but... It's 50-50, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not... Yeah, I can get you a theory, but I... Okay, never mind. So who we got this week? So, Jordan. 
Uh, so, I picked a couple of games to do live on air. Um, well, we got who we, yeah, we, we played last week. We played Midland last week, so for the Midland game... I'm um, going to go Midland. I'm also going to go Midland. Yeah, and uh, on the back of their strong performance, I'm going to go Midland too. They did look good. So they're playing away though, but that's okay. Yeah, they'll be fine. I think they're, they're side of the travel well, so I'm going to go yeah, Midland. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then looking through there, there's a few decent games this week actually, but one jumps out at me. It's um, Perth against Bayswater. Huge game. A couple of strong at, sides. At Fletcher, yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple of historically strong teams in the in the fourth grade, so I don't think they've lost I think they've won their first two. Who? Both. Well, I'm going to go... It's uh, <laughs> yeah. no, no, you're right, they both have one the first two. He's going to go fourth grade. We really established this. But I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Bayswater. I'm going to go for the wayside. Try and think. Oh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go Bayswater as well. Just because I don't think I've ever beaten Bayswater in the fours. I'll go Perth. Very good work. Now, as we always... Go to the home. It's 50-50 game. Go to the home team. As always, long way to travel for Bayswater to, to yeah, Perth, isn't it? To, to well, they, but Perth have been there. Really yeah. coach. Perth have been there the whole <laughs> winter, though. Like Fletcher. Yeah. Yeah. Have they? They haven't been ground today. No, that's what I mean. They've been training on that ground for the whole pre-season. Oh, so they get hit. Yeah. They benefit no, from it. So. Benefit from being like those host hubs that you get to. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Helps, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. It's like how Brisbane and Port made yeah. the ground fun. Oh, moving on. <laughs> um, so with the tiebreaker always uh, from now on, always being, yes. we have to guess the number of wides in the fourth grade game coming up. So it'll be which us against Claremont, against Claremont uh, which we're coming against this weekend. Um, so I will go first. I think it actually wasn't a big number. It was like 16 last week. 18. 18. So I'm going to... 16. Yes. Sorry. You are just carrying Honestly, you're, carrying just, the you're slowing us down. You're carrying the show. Uh, I'm going to go for 22 this week. 20 whites. Yeah. Is this chocolate, mate? Yeah, I believe he might be. Oh, he reckons he's not bowling. Oh, that's probably for the best. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with, uh 17. I reckon that one. 17. You got from one extreme to the other. You had 60 last week. Yeah, I miscalculated. <laughs> I knew that it wouldn't have been needed because I was going to win. The tiebreaker wasn't necessary. But yeah, no, that was a lot. Josh, what do you know? 17, 22. Yeah. 26. Okay. Narrow field. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and obviously the rest of our tips will be going across the bottom of the screen as you'll see there, I believe. I think. I think. Post production okay. magic. Um, now. That's it for the tipping comp. Thank you, Jordan. Well done. Um, um, moving on to our next section, and again, another very popular section of the, uh, the show so far. They're all popular. They're all popular. It's like bounce. Exactly, it's like bounce. Yes. You can't quite pick a favourite point. <laughs> Every bit's a highlight. Um, it is our lower grade heroes of the week. I'll pass over to you, sir, for this. It was a tough week this week. It was a strong start to the season, I'm going to have to say. Um, but someone who I think would have watched the show and might be gunning for this award, I'm going to have to give one vote again to Ethan B. Got three last week for getting more than half his runs from last year. This week, he's hit another 40. So is that he's on 77 already last week? 68. Uh, last year. 68. <laughs> So, so it's two games, bang bang. Two yeah. And um, in November, he's already beaten his runs from last year. Also, I'll get a little um, side note in there for the vote. He hasn't bowled an over yet, <laughs> um, and he was in there, I assume, as a bowler last year, taking 14 wickets. Um, so not required with the ball, but I tell you what, he does some damage with that. He's Big just, fella now, isn't he? Well, he, he must be hitting just, a long ball. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so well done to Ethan. That brings him up to four, I think. For the total? Yeah. He could be, be a front winning. runner. Well, he must be winning. Now, well, as of now. Correct, Jordan. Well done. No, but this could be more. Because he got three last week. And no, but like, before so he was right so winning. He is winning. Yeah. winning. <laughs> well done. I'm, not, I'm in brown line mode still. <laughs> Don't talk to me about that now. Um, two votes. Right. Um, again, similar theme to last week. They might be watching. Uh, Joonal up. 
again with some minor pressures <laughs> um, in the fourth round. It's still just not quite working. So I know they got 284, but apart from that, I'm not quite sure what happened in their game. I did see the other day that Cosmos had been putting them a score of zero at one point. Okay. So maybe they maybe they did get off a zero. Maybe. This. Oh, unlikely, but <laughs> there's always a chance. God, so, we have to extend your contract on this show, Paul. Yeah, just get unlikely. <laughs> But again, yeah, we love to see just some microcrit troubles throughout the week because Lord knows we've all been there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jordan, you've captained enough to know that oh. it's a struggle when on Sunday night you're lying in bed and you go, oh, I haven't put my catches in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the worst thing is the captain's report. Getting uh -huh. calls from Eggy and Lemonade on Monday. Go, you've got an hour to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is good fun. Can so, I let you, so when it comes to like, things like that, Having not done much junior cricket until now, I didn't realise how the voting system works for junior cricket, junior players. The two coaches get together and you have seven votes to allocate however you want, but you can only, one player can't get more than four votes. So there's no, like, you can give like seven lots of one vote, you can give one vote four and one vote three. It's absolute chaos. Why? I don't know. Should we do it's that? Like, <laughs> It's like it's like when you're in primary school when you got the ribbon that says I ran in the race. Oh, I thought it was just a win, it's like. You ran in the races? Nothing <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, Do you have them anymore? Um, races. Races, yeah. <laughs> we have running races. The ribbons. Yeah, we have ribbons. Anyway. It's on fire tonight, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Um <coughs> And that makes sense though. Three votes this week goes out to a unknown player for Melville. Spotted him on the socials and we love we love we follow all the club's socials. Mm. Um, we love getting amongst them and we hope they do the same. Um, but there was a fellow who looked like uh, well yeah, he was wearing white, so it was a little bit lower grade game. Um, had a fours, was it? I don't know, he didn't say. Fours could mean threes, fours. I just don't know. Um, he was sporting a red helmet, not quite the, the blue of the storm, <laughs> um, but wearing it nonetheless, which we love, a clean skin bat, and I, if you zoom in, I'm pretty sure his gloves were undone as well. I mean, well, so there's a shot. Yeah, it's an action shot, and I'm pretty sure that the, the gloves, gloves, yeah, the gloves are undone. So, that, there's one each, so <laughs> there's three votes. I mean, at the unknown Melville player, so if and Melville want to get in touch and yeah. let us know who that was, because we're happy to shout we, out, because that's we fantastic. Love it. We love that sending it. Definitely sure. As a man who spent an entire season of third grade cricket batting in a white league. Yeah. <laughs> and your pads. Oh, the pads are the, pad the stride down the middle, which is so bad. Them in. <laughs> we'll bring them in next week. Yeah, and then the pads were so bad that they, did, they sort of distracted you from the white lead yeah. with Southern Cricket getting across the back. They did, mate. You like to think that they did, but they did. <laughs> long enough for anyone to comment. Uh, um, yeah, well, thank you, Mike, for the lower. <laughs> yeah, and look, if anyone wants to um, tweet in or message in on Instagram with uh, nominations. Always have nominations, go in. Because um, we, we can't be there for, yeah. for every game. So if something amazing happens, if you can get a photo of something, even better. We want to hear it. Yeah, 100%. Because there will be an award for this. There will <laughs> we, be we will something. get something, for sure. There will be something. Um, also, also Lucas A. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as we've already sort of alluded to, this weekend we come up against uh, Cremont. Uh, obviously across all four grades with the uh, ones and threes coming away and twos and fours with their first games at Stevens, which is exciting for them. Um, so who's played in round one? Oh, sorry, I didn't do a bunch of stuff. It wasn't a way game. Um, so yeah, unfortunately this week though, they're, well I say unfortunately, it's not unfortunate at all because there is a very uh, special event on Saturday. Um, we've already mentioned him, but uh, Man Neil King is getting married on Saturday. Uh, to the lovely Caitlin, and a few of us will be celebrating with them on the day. Um, unfortunately, it kind of hits the teams a little bit, so there's going to be a few changes uh, across the grades. Um, but yeah, I think I'll speak on behalf of everybody when I sort of say massive congrats to, to Mel Caitlin, and I hope for a fantastic day on Saturday. And it's also going to be a fantastic Saturday down here too, because there's 
a lot of good young cricketers coming through the ranks that are going to get their opportunity this week. And um, yeah, I'm sure they're going to represent Frio and proudly, and we're going to put up four good performances, I think. It's kind of scripted a little bit. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. You do yeah. you. <laughs> so, just as something special for this week, um, we are going to run a competition. And we're going to give away not only Ribena. this lovely bottle of Ribena, but also the Frio Stubby Holder as well. We're going to give them away both. We think. We think. We think. If maybe. We're allowed to. Um, the competition is going to be very simple. With a few changes this week, it is going to be how old combined will our fourth grade team be this week. So add up all the ages of what our team is going to be. Tweet your messages, uh, tweet your answers, sorry, uh, stick them in the Instagram page, put them on Facebook, uh, get your answers in before 6 o'clock on Thursday night. Um, whoever is closest will win a study holder. Otherwise, kids, that's pretty much all we got for this week. Uh, again, thank you very much, everybody, for sticking with us. Um, sorry, do you have, oh, sorry, I feel apologise. I mean, it feels like this whole thing's been a joke of the day with Jordan, but what? 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 We, 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 we have you oh. been there, so. Oh, thanks. We always finish with, we always finish on a high, not or sure try if, to. I'm not sure if you've heard this one before. I don't think you have. Okay. But I'm sure lots of people on the watching the podcast wouldn't have heard it. So it's for everyone, really, isn't it? It is um, for everyone. So, Chris. Yes, I went to see a psychic the other day, and I walk up to her, knock on the door. She goes, "Who is it?" So I left. <laughs> that's your worst one. That's, so that's, that's, that's bad. That's real bad. Dumbbell dog was great. Yeah. That sucks. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We promise you'll be better next week. Best of luck to all the poor boys. Best of luck, man, Caitlin, that we can. And we will see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>